Hello, I am Kiatrik. I am a trainer for making games with Construct 2. I am a moderator on Skara.com forums. I am an indie game maker and game designer enthusiast. I am making this video tutorial today for Envato Game Dave Touch Plus. So now let's add some pickups. The pickups will be actually some kind of power ups that will allow us to modify which is the kind of bullets that the ship is spawning when firing and that will also allow us to make some new shooting patterns. So right now just make sure we're still in the action layer. Make a new object, a sprite and this one will be the pickup final. Here it is, it's a bit big. Oh, it's okay. Add some behavior to it. We will destroy when outside of layout. And we will also fade. Add the fade um, behavior. And finally, add sign behavior and add another one. So here it is. And now let's do some modification. The fade behavior will actually modify the opacity of the object uh, over several ticks. At, at the moment the pickup fade is set as after a second it will be fully disappeared. One second is a bit short, I will go for 15. But also from the moment the object will be faded, totally faded, totally invisible, it will automatically destroy. So it's an other interesting thing. The sign we will use, we will use horizontal movement, we will put it in sign for and move it only by 10 and for the vertical in triangle for an magnitude of 10. This, we, this will allow us if we just shake right now as you can see it's moving around a bit and slowly fading away. And so in 15 seconds totally gone. Okay, it's pretty cool. And finally I will also add behavior bullets but the speed this time of the bullets will only be of 25. We won't set the angle and we will do so that when we create a pickup we will slowly move it on the left. You will see it uh, so that it comes in direction of the player a bit quicker than it is used to. So for now we will just add a new event about the collision. When the player is overlapping Sprite, oh I forgot to change the name Sprite, let's rename it to Pickup. So when player is overlapping Pickup, first thing I want to destroy the Pickup right away. But I will also want to modify the current weapon force. So I will need to add a new instance variable to my player which will be which will be weapon force at the moment it's zero and when it does uh, I will player add to player weapon force one and I will add a sub event that is if weapon force is greater greater than 2 I will just set the player weapon force to 2. This means that 
the maximum weapon force value I want to have will be 2. And this does allow us for a small modification. Just for now, I'm only interested in uh, showing the effect on the bullet when I'm shooting. So let's put it right there. Shooting. I want the bullet frame to be equal to player dot weapon force and as weapon force is either zero one or two it will display either the weapon the bullet animation frame zero one or two and so what I will do right now is add other pickups to show you so right away I'm putting zero you see it's a different bullet and finally an another one and then it's the maximum okay but what I will also want is depending on the weapon force I want to be able to spawn more or less bullets so that will depend right there Add another sub event player compare instance variable weapon force if it's equal to zero that's what I will want and if it's weapon force one automatically it, it won't matter but what will be interesting there is that if I modify this and change the angle of motion to 180 I will be creating two bullets in Weapon Force 1 let's try it, so only one and there are two in both directions you can copy every time the um, the creation but I will show you also a, a new feature that has been added to construct in the last versions which is the function function let's rename it to F because it's simpler to write and right there I will be add event function on function shoot bullet let me even name it player shoot bullets and on player shoot bullets I will copy everything there as well as this one there I don't need it anymore I will just delete it and there I will modify this by f param 0 and so what is interesting if there I will only have to call function add a parameter and there it would be 0 because the angle by, by default in construct the angle 0 is equal to the right the right di direction and in weapon force 0 I don't want bullets to go elsewhere and for weapon 1 I will want there this one to be 180 so it means that instead of having to copy every time this bit of code I can just excuse me I can just add a simple action which calls this function so functions and that will create the bullets automatically let me try it to test if it's okay so now I'm creating only one and creating two as intended pretty cool so it uh, even allows me to modify some fun thing there I will want 
to make an angle of 15 and I will want an angle of 3070 and then here it is a different way of shooting it's a different shooting pattern pretty cool yeah so there 345 rather it feels better and so for the last one weapon force 2 I will do the same, I will add one that goes straight and I will also want to have some bullets in the background in the that shoots to the left 155 and let's see, 205 so when I'm picking two, okay, here it is. You see, it's shooting. It's shooting. So it makes it pretty simpler to create a sort of patterns for for your shooting with only giving a single parameter, a single value that will change the angle of the bullet and so change the the pattern itself so now it's pretty cool what we will have to do next we'll uh, we will have to make it so that enemies drop those pickup objects when they are it so next video we will be adding enemies waves of enemies and shooting down those enemies and releasing pickups